team, classmates. Hi, my name is Stephanie Percy, and today I will be presenting on a video. I will be going over the following objectives in my presentation. Background, origin of chlamydia, causes, risk factors, transmission, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, prevention, experiment, and work cited. One of the most, chlamydia is one of the most common STDs in the United States. There are more than 1.2 million cases reported each year in the United States. The name chlamydia derives from the word chlamys and trachomatis, which means cloak, harsh, or rough. It is also known as the silent infection because, because the symptoms show very few show very few in mammals. It is a gram-negative bacteria. Chlamydia is a sexually transmitted disease. A sexually transmitted disease is a disease that is transmitted by blood or semen. Chlamydia is a genus of bacteria that's obligate intracellular. was discovered in 1907 by Czech scientist Stanislaus von Prozac. Prozac was able to discover the infection by the identification of bacteria. It was thought to be gonorrhea, but there was two different pathogens. What is the effect? Chlamydia mainly affects women and minorities under the age of 26. Chlamydia is caused by bacteria called chlamydia trachomatis. It is caused by unprotected sexual intercourse and the use of unclean sexual stimulation devices. Chlamydia is transmitted through oral or vaginal intercourse. It is also transmitted between sexual intercourse with multiple partners. Homosexual intercourse and not only heterosexual intercourse. Unclean sexual stimulation devices. A partner does not have to ejaculate to transmit infection. Symptoms in women. These symptoms in women include pain on your vaginal discharge, pain in the lower abdomen, pain and bleeding during sexual intercourse, bleeding after sexual intercourse heavier menstrual cycle than usual. The symptoms in men include pain, discharge from the foreskin of the male genitalia, pain in the testicles, burning and itching through the male Diagnosis. The only way to be diagnosed is to be tested. There are two ways to be tested. A urine sample is when your urine is tested and a swab test where a swab is put a cotton swab is put on the affected area. The doctor will determine which test you take. The risk factors in women are can spread to the uterus, which would develop into pelvic inflammatory disease or cervicitis. Has blocked fallopian tubes, swollen Bartholin's glands, and reactive arthritis. The risk factors in pregnant women are ectopic pregnancy, which is when an egg doesn't develop into a child, miscarriage, multiple birth defects, and the baby can contract the disease or infection from the mother. The risk factors in men include urethritis, which is inflammation of the urethra, epididymitis, which is tenderness and swelling in the epididymis, and reactive arthritis. Treatments. Chlamydia isn't a fatal disease unless it contracts another disease, and it can be remediated quickly with antibiotics. The most common antibiotics given to patients are azithromycin, cyclophosphate medicine, and doxycycline, a longer dose medicine. The 
Doxycycline will only be used to for severe complications. Patients being treated with the infection should wait about seven days to partake in sexual intercourse so that the disease is prevented from spreading. While taking antibiotics, there might be a mild side effects, which include diarrhea, stomach pain, vaginal thrush, slash vaginal yeast infection, occasional skin rash, and feeling sick. Even if all the antibiotics are taken and they stop chlamydia, the damage from the infection This is my experiment. The title of my experiment is called on genital chlamydia trachematis, prevalence and associated factors in Norway, a cross-sectional study. It was a study done on the prevalence of chlamydia in Norway. The idea of the study was to identify the increasing number of diagnoses in Norway. Out of the 10,000 people who were nailed the questionnaire and the urine sample, 1,670 sent it back for the experiment. In the 1,670 young people, 1,568 were at risk had a previous sexual intercourse. Majorities of the people at risk were women. About 60% were at risk. But only 1,535 were used because of the misuse of how many people. The response rate was higher from young people ages 22 to 25 years old, then young people ages 18 to 21. And only 5.6 of the people were not from Norway. In a statistical analysis, the following variables were being associated with the infections. For men, a greater number of partners during the last years increased the odds of not having a local youth clinic present increased the odds of infection compared to those who, have, who reported having a local youth clinic in their home. Females have a high prevalence in males in contracting chlamydia. Out of the 10,000 people who were male, the questionnaire females have a higher prevalence the study was not reliable since only 1,670 of the 10,000 took part in the study. Prevention. Chlamydia can be easily prevented using contraception, dental nam for oral sexual intercourse, not sharing sexual stimulation devices, getting tested, and making sure your partner is infected. Chlamydia is also um, as said before in my presentation, can be spread through genitals touching. So if you make sure that your partner is tested and you are tested, and make sure that if you have multiple partners or homosexual partners, then you're all tested. In conclusion, chlamydia isn't a fatal infection. Chlamydia is easily treated with antibiotics, and the use of Contraception will prevent the infection. These are my works cited, and I will now open the floor to any questions, comments, or questions. Azithromycin is $71, and the cost for doxycycline is $61. I know. The incubation period is about one to three weeks. Trend. You say 95% of the people are cured, but what happens to them? I did a minor 
this is the area around the, the, uh, around the male, and I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> Contraception prevents infection because it's a practice of safe sex and not using without a condom. Contraception, you just mean condoms because contraception also includes birth control. So, how would birth control pills yeah. prevent infection? I mean, if you still use birth control, the disease can be spread since the bacteria is on the affected area. So it's not just contraception, you need to use it. Yes. Yes. for reinfection, yes, they can. Yeah, Jasmine! Thank you. 